Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Wesley So and Vishyanand. This is a game from Tata Steel Masters Tournament played in Netherlands in 2020. Wesley So had white pieces and he started with e4. Vishyanand played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. The Italian game. Bishop to c5 c3 intending d4 maybe knight to f6 white to move d4 is the most played move and also well analyzed d3 simply supporting the pawn on e4 knight from b to d2 and anand castled kingside let's take it back if bishop to g4 one very interesting line goes like this h3 bishop to h5 knight to f1 h6 knight to g3 bishop to g6 knight to h4 bishop to h7 knight from h to f5 white stands better back to our game anand cuts at kingside h3 controlling g4 square a6 bishop to b3 bishop to e6 opposing the bishop on b3 Bishop to c2. This way of playing by white reminds me of the Spanish game. It is black to move. h6 is the most played move in this position, preventing knight to g5. Anand played d5. Since white did not castle, black wants to open the files, the e and e file. It makes sense, doesn't it? But now, not castling. Knight to g5 attacking the bishop. d takes on e4. Knight takes bishop. f takes on e6. d takes on e4. This happened to be the most important moment of the game. It is black to move. There is a great temptation to sack the bishop on f2 for the attack on the white king. Would this work? Would you play bishop takes on f2 check or something else? Anand went for the king hunt with bishop takes on f2 check. Let's take it back. Another way to go, a more patient way, was queen to e8. And after castling, knight to h5. After knight to b3, bishop to b6. And after bishop to e3, knight to f4. It is about equal. But the black knight is extremely well placed on f4. Back to our game. Bishop takes on f2 check. King takes bishop. Of course, Anand didn't calculate until checkmate. He sensed that the attack would work. That is how Mikhail Tal played most of the time. Tal relied on his intuition. The game continued. Knight to g4, double check. King to g1, knight to e3, attacking the queen, queen to e2, knight takes on c2. Rook to b1. The knight is now trapped. This makes me remember Mikhail Tal's hippo drowning story. Knight on 6 to d4. The other way to go was to forget about the trap knight and to play queen to h4. After knight to f3, queen to g3, white is advised not to take the knight. If a queen takes on c2, then rook takes on f3. White would probably play h4 in this position, intending rook to h3. Back to our game. We have knight from 6 to d4. c takes on d4. Black to move. Queen takes on d4 was played. e takes on d4 would be another way to go. Or even knight takes on d4. Queen takes on d4. Check. King to h2. Rook to f2, queen to g4, knight to e3 with a double attack. Anand was probably aiming for this position, and in his mind's eye he thought it was winning. But white has a good answer to the problem. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best defense for white. What did you find? Wesley so played queen takes on e6 check, moving the queen 
to a safe spot. King to h8. Rook to g1 defending the pawn on g2. Queen to d3. Queen takes on e5. This is another important moment. Anan was choosing between the knight takes on g2 and bringing another piece to the attack. He played rook from a to f8. Let's take it back. If knight takes on g2, then after rook takes on g2, rook takes on g2 check, king takes on g2, queen to e2 check, there is a high probability that the game would end in a draw. Let's go back. After knight takes on g2, if white wanted to avoid draw, then king to h1. And after queen takes on h3 check, queen to h2, queen takes queen, king takes queen, knight to e3, discover check, king to h3, and white is standing better. Well, for his piece, Anand has only two pawns. That means that knight takes on g2 variation is also losing for black. Back to our game. Rook from a to f8. White to move. Wesley so played. Queen to g3. He is defending extremely well. Queen to e2. More pressure on the pawn on g2. Is white in trouble? How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Wesley so played b4. This is an excellent move. Rook takes on g2 check. Let's take it back. If black plays a random move like c6, then white can play rook to b2 or even bishop to b2 threatening checkmate. Back to our game. Rook takes on g2 check. Rook takes rook. Knight takes rook. White to move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? I will show you a move that doesn't work. If queen takes on g2, then rook to f2 and black wins. Back to our game. In this position, Wesley so played the move and undone the resigned and the move is queen to g4. This is an excellent reply. Anand resigned. Discovered check doesn't work. After knight to f4, check. Queen takes queen, and after knight takes on e2, king to g2. Some commentators were saying that an answer attack would work against a weaker player. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.